Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To all my beloved students Year 5 Harif BLP And all students across Malaysia <coughs> Assalamualaikum dan selamat pagi Pada semua murid Kelas 5 Harif BLP yang cikgu kasihi Dan tak lupa semua murid di seluruh Malaysia So insyaAllah today We will continue our lesson in uh, Mathematics Year 5 BLP Okay, we are still in unit 4 uh, of time. So today we're going to see about addition of time uh, involving fractions and decimals and decimals. Jadi hari ini kita nak tengok pada subtopik penambahan waktu ataupun masa uh, melibatkan pecahan dan perpuluhan. Okay, from the previous lesson, we have learned uh, about convert units of time. Eh? Following fractions and decimals. Alright, you can turn to your textbook. Okay, turn to page 141. Okay, there's a few examples there. Okay, you, you can see page 141 uh, involving hours and minutes. Okay, we go to the next page. Alright. Okay, let me try question number 2. Okay, you can turn to page uh, 120, uh, sorry, 142. Okay, calculate the total duration needed to help mother in the kitchen and to help father wash his car. Alright. Okay, number 2A, 1.5 hours. Plus 0 0.75 hours. Okay, so we total up. So we get here 5, 5, 7, 5 plus 7, we got 12. 1 plus 1, we got 2. So, 2.25 hours. Okay. Very easy, eh? Okay. So, this is the addition of time involving the symbol. Alright. How about uh, if the question asks to perform addition involving fraction? Okay. We go to B. Okay. What is the duration in minutes to help father wash his car and water the plants all right so 0 0.75 hours plus 1 1 over 4 hours so what is the duration in minutes so how are we going to solve this kind of Question. Eh? So, this one is decimal. This one is fraction. So, how? Jadi, macam mana kita nak selesaikan soalan B ni? Yang ini adalah perpuluhan. Yang ini pecahan. Okay? Bentuk dia tak sama. So, what can you do is you can convert 1 over 4 into decimal. Alright? Okay, you can convert into minutes. So, 0 0.75 you multiply by 60 because we are going to convert into minutes and also this 1 over 4 also we multiply by 60 okay so sorry So, 0 0.75 multiply by 60, okay, you will get 45 minutes, okay, plus 1 over 4 multiply 60, also you will get 15 minutes. Okay, so 45 
plus 15 you will get 60 minutes okay so we get the answer is 60 minutes all right okay now we go to page 144 let me try question number one, number four. Eh? Okay, question number four, page 144. Eh? Okay, three. Sorry. So three one over two this plus one point one two five uh, sorry plus eight point one two five this okay so the question asks us to Give the answer in days and hours. Alright, so now first of all, three, one over two days. Okay, we have to. Okay, we have to change to days and hours. Eh? Okay, so this one becomes 3 days plus 1 over 2 days. Okay, so 1 over 2 days, 3 days plus 1 over 2 days, we multiply by 24. Eh? Why do we multiply by 24? Kenapa 1 per 2 kita darabkan 24? Sebab 1 hari bersamaan dengan 2 jam eh. Alright, so we will get 3 days, 12 hours. Okay, next. Okay. Eight, one, uh, sorry, 8.125 days. Okay, so we separate this decimal. So this one becomes 8 days plus... 0 0.125 day so this one 8 days plus 0 0.125 we multiply also by multiply by 24 alright so we will get 8 days 3 hours Okay, so so three days, twelve hours. Okay. We add with 8 days and 3 hours. Okay. So, 2 plus 3, we got 5. Here, we got 15. So, this one become 11. So, this is uh, 15 hours. This is 11 days. Alright. So, the answer is... 
eleven days and fifteen hours. Okay, I hope you, all of you, you enjoy our lesson today. Okay, and you and you gain something from our class. Okay, inshallah, see you next week. Okay, have a nice day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.